so much to everybody for coming out today. It's absolutely fantastic to see such a, a big crowd for this really important day. I'm Sheila Stewart, I'm the Mayor of Cambridge. Um, and I'm just, I'm just going to talk a little bit about Snowy and the history and how this project has come about. Who you didn't know anyone. Snowy yeah. Bar was a much loved Cambridge institution. He could regularly be seen just at the entrance to Pencury, just over here, with his colourfully decorated tricycle, wearing his crimson military style costume, sporting a black top hat, and having a variety of animals on display. Snowy is someone who, who will go down in our local history as an eccentric character who brought huge pleasure to both local residents and tourists alike. Children, particularly, were fascinated to watch the white mice running atop the brim of his hat, watched by a cat who was perched on the top. He would sometimes bring rabbits along, and even a goat. The reason Snowy came into the city centre on such a regular basis, and in all weathers, was to raise funding for Campsite, the Cambridgeshire Society for the Blind and Partially Sighted, and for Guide Dogs for the Blind. He collected in excess of £100,000, and these charities and those people they support have great reason to be grateful to him. When Snowy passed away, many people contacted the City Council to ask that a piece of public art be commissioned to commemorate Snowy and all of his good work. Gary Webb's creative design, I feel, captures Snowy's character and spirit, as well as being innovative, modern, memorable and fun. It will serve as a lasting reminder of a gentleman who meant so much to so many people. We hope that this sculpture will capture the imagination of the public just as Snowy did. This project has been funded by housing developers and it is specifically meant for contributions for pieces of public art. Some people have said that Snowy would not have wanted money to be spent in this way but instead would have wished for his charities to benefit. However, the funding we have can only be spent on public artwork, and I'm really thrilled that a project to remember Snowy has finally come to fruition as a result of this fund. It gives me great pleasure now to unveil this sculpture in memory of Snowy Far, and once it's unveiled, I'm going to ask Gary Webb, the artist, to come up and say a few words about the artwork. All right. because I, I, never, I don't live in Cambridge. Um, but when I started looking at the proposal and the project and Snowy himself, I literally kind of just spent a lot of time just looking at images of Snowy, uh, visual images of him in the high street, in his outfit, and uh, with the colours and the cats and all the other animals that he, he had. And I just felt like I wanted to kind of get hold of him in a kind of sort of, um, in a kind of much more fuller way uh, by making it slightly more sort of abstract, but uh, and not so figurative, um, but still holding on to the sort of colours of him, uh, with the kind of red and the orange and the white for his head, the sort of red for his sort of uniforms and the orange, and just this this thing here really is kind of the pot of gold that he kind of made for all the charities, I think, and uh, all the contribution that he kind of sort of made towards the uh, um, different kind of uh, groups that he was raising money for. And, uh, and we have the cat and the hat, and um, I, think, I think we've caught him. I think we've we've kind of put him put him together and put him put him uh, put him on the on the pedestal. So I hope you all enjoy it, and thank you ever so much. part of our presentation today. I'm sure people would love to come up and, and just touch it. It has an amazing feel about it as well. It's very solid and very smooth and rough in different places. So do, do everybody come up and enjoy it close up. Thank you very much.